Today we're going to be talking about the complications of atherosclerosis. Now remember back to the video about the pathophysiology of atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis involves the development of an atheroma, which is a lipid-filled inflammatory plaque in the artery wall. If the plaque's fibrous cap remains stable and doesn't rupture, expansion of the plaque over time can intrude into the lumen of the blood vessel, which severely occludes blood flow through the artery. Now, of course, the effects of severely reduced blood flow depends on the location in the body. But in general, occlusion of blood flow results in reduced oxygen delivery to that body tissue, especially when that tissue is exerting itself. In the heart, and this happens in the lumen of the epicardial coronary arteries, that can result in coronary artery stenosis on angiography or lead to a clinical syndrome of stable angina. In the brain, which occurs in the lumen of the carotid or cerebral arteries, thrombotic material on the plaque can embolize into the rest of the brain, causing a transient ischemic attack. In the peripheral arteries, for example in the aorta, blood vessel occlusion and calcification results in weakening of the aortic wall, resulting in parts of the aortic wall bulging out, leading to aortic aneurysms which can rupture and hemorrhage. In the legs, occlusion of the iliac, popliteal, and other leg arteries results in peripheral vascular disease, which can lead to claudication, gangrene, and amputation. In the bowel, occlusion of the celiac or mesenteric arteries results in bowel infarction, or death of the bowel tissue. Now back to the atheroma stage of atherosclerosis. If the fibrous cap overlying the atheromatous plaque was to rupture, the rough surfaces of the fibrous cap and the contents of the lipid core are then exposed to the lumen of the artery with local activation of the coagulation pathway. There's thrombosis at the site of rupture, and in the heart, in the lumen of the coronary arteries, the blockage of one of the coronary arteries leads to acute coronary syndrome, or ACS. If there is no myocyte death, that results in a clinical syndrome called unstable angina, and if myocytes have died because of this shortage of oxygen, that results in a myocardial infarction. In the brain, total occlusion of any brain artery results in a cerebrovascular accident, CVA, otherwise known as a stroke. And that's it for the complications of atherosclerosis. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new from it, please like this video, share it with other people, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next Calgary Guide video.